Welcome back guys, this is Ace Dude here with another Minecraft plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Discord SRV. The author of this plugin is Scars and it's currently on version 13.5. And there are some requirements to this plugin. Java 8 is one of them, you have to be on Java 8. So if you are on a Minecraft hosting provider, you might have to message them and ask them if they are on Java 8. If they are not, then you might have to get them to upgrade. If you have your own box, then you can just upgrade it yourself. We do have some commands and permissions in this game. So slash discord will bring up all the uh, commands that you can in game. And we do have silent join and silent quit. Now what that will do is allow the people to ha who have this permission to join and quit and it not to come up in chat. And this will make sense later on. So first things first, it is a comparison chart here with server, MC and Plexbot. And you can go through this and see what you can actually achieve here and what these plugins are lacking currently. So I'm just going to show you in game of what you can actually do with this plugin. So you can just type something in and there's my rank and name and it's come in the Discord. You can also talk back into the chat and it says Discord here, the owner which is my rank my name and the message. Now all this can be configurable and we can also do color codes. Now you can choose to give these permissions to players and groups and choose to negate them for other people. I currently have trusted role who has access to the bot channels whereas a normal member don't does not and they have to be promoted to the trusted role to be able to talk from the bot. So that's just a little glimpse of what it can do. And today I'm just going to be talking about setting this bot up to actually work. As for the permissions from the config and the messages YML, Scars himself will be recording and going through every single option and walking you through what every single option does. So first of all, we are going to click on the new application. Now the name is just the bot that will come up in the game under here. Be a bot like this. So we're just going to call our super Alright, the next step here is to create a bot. So we're going to click create. And this code here, the token, is what we need to look at. But we'll look at that later, because right now we need to continue on. And that would be to run and stop the server. So as you can see in my plugins, there is only Discord plugin. So obviously with your server, you'll have permissions and other plugins as well. We're gonna start the server. Now it has failed because we have not set it up. So we're going to shut it down now. And go back into plugins. There will be a config and a messages file. So we're only going to be looking at these first three here because that's what's important to get everything up and running. So as you can see, we need to paste the token from the application page. Now that is this token here. This token is a private token. You won't want to give this out to anyone. So keep that between yourselves and whoever is setting up the Discord bot if you have someone setting it up for you. The next thing will be channels and the console channel. Now I've already made a Discord here and I have two different channels here. So before we do anything, you want to create a role for the bot and you want to give it admin 
access. That gives it access to everything. Just makes it a little bit, little bit easier for later on in life. So copy the ID. I'm gonna paste that there. And we're gonna copy the console ID. And we're gonna paste that there. This is not needed. If you don't want a channel that will show the console like this, then you don't need to do that. We're gonna save that. And the final thing we're gonna do here is authorize it. Now we need the client ID for this. So we're gonna copy that. And we're gonna paste it straight into chat. Authorize it for the channel that you made, this Discord here. Now it's authorized, and you will see the bot super. And we're just going to give him the admin role, which is what we've made. So, with that done, we can start the server. Everything here will be done. Now, to get that ID that I did with right clicking the channel, you need to activate dev mode, and that says it right there of how to do it. So we're going to start the server here. And as you can see, the server has started. And here's the console messages that are now showing up. Now this part here, it's not working because I do not have a permissions plugin set up on the server. And I'm in a square. Okay, so as you can see I've joined the game and it has come up that I've joined the server. Type in game it's come up on the bot and I can type back and it's come up on the game so with all these you can configure as I said with the messages file in here this is quite extensive as well of what you can and you can't do and we'll go back to the config here that also allows everything but we won't go into that, I'll let SCARS continue with that one. So this is essentially setting everything up. Can op myself. Just because I'm cool like that. So if there are any other questions, you can feel free to shoot me a message. I will answer and there's also a support channel for Discord SRV. This is it here. And there are a lot of channels. There are a lot of people in here that can help. We've got like reviewers. Me. I'm at the top because I'm awesome. And so on and so forth. Now continuing on. As I said, Scars himself will be making a video, so look out for that one. I will post it in the description and put it on the, the video that you're watching now to continue on as for an in-game depth of what all the config options mean. So until then, hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.